was that the one that I read about on uh, Saturday, June 7th. Uh, Chula Vista voted, the decisions are still to come. And quote, unquote, spending taxpayer money on financial studies under dubious circumstances, is that the same contract? No, I believe that refers to the, anal the um, analysis that we did on the Height Initiative. I think that that's what this editorial page is referring to. That's correct. Okay, so that's the same contract. The contract that the council never voted on. No, no it's a completely that's a different, different contract. contract. Different people, different staff involved. The contract that is under item 5B is for projects in the merged project? No, I, I understand, but I'm talking about the work that's already been done by EPS. And Mr. I wish Mr. Crockett could answer the questions that are being asked to him. Basically, I was just told that EPS has already been given work that they've been paid for. They're at least going to charge the city for, and it was done under an existing contract. And I believe what you said was that contract was essentially the feasibility work that was done to look at Prop E. Well, maybe that's Mr. Yeah, that's, Mr. That's Garcia's. What, that's, that was my comment. I think I was re answering your question when you were referring to an article that was written and in that article, it referred to a study that was done. I believe the article is basically discussing the election and Proposition E. Right. And the defeat of Proposition E, as well as uh, some of the circumstances surrounding some of the divisive issues that had occurred. I think that was the tenor of the article. And one of the things that it mentioned was a study that had been commissioned by the city to okay. analyze the economic impacts Proposition E, and that was the study that was the referral by the city council uh, to the staff, by, by basically the legislative subcommittee of the council. Let's be staff. quite frank, the legislative subcommittee. That's correct. That's okay. Correct. All right, let's be and frank about that. The referral. And accurate. Okay. So this is, you know, again, this is not... So this is, you know, again, this is not an article, this is an editorial, which is quite different. And really, I guess the point is, and, and again, I, I've seen EPS's work, I think they do great work, you know, in, in areas. Uh, I don't want to comment on the whole Prop E feasibility issue. But I think really what this article, or the, excuse me, this editorial and what I'm hearing is, is that we need to build trust in the community. And, you know, whether Prop E was defeated or not defeated, it's pretty darn clear to me, and I think the entire city, that this community is split 50-50 right down the middle, save a thousand people. Um, the fact is, and again, I'm, I'm appreciative, Mr. Garcia, that you suggested that we actually adhere to government contacting, or excuse me, government contacting, contracting regs and actually go out with a competitive bid that would be very nice. We wave things around here a lot. So I think that we don't have a project. I mean, we don't have, you know, redevelopment projects that are rolling in like oranges. We don't have the need immediately. And I think it's time that we start to look at other outlets for expertise and expert analyses and how we look at these projects. Because I, I, what I don't want to do is create a cloud under EPS or anybody that does work on a contract basis in this city, and and that work being scrutinized and being criticized and, 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 and essentially unearthed. Because believe me, I do that kind of work too, and the last thing you want to do is go in and try to, you know, sell a, an analysis or a study when you've got a lot of people that don't believe that the contract was led under, uh, under the, uh, uh, shall we say, the best circumstances. So I appreciate that. I'm, I'm, I think probably, you know, the votes probably aren't there because I wasn't going to support this. And I think that you can put together a, um, uh, a competitive um, uh, bid process, RFP process for a, uh, you know, and it may be EPS. I don't know, but I'd like to see that come back. And I'd also like to see a, a proposal, or excuse me, a policy come back on when we use consultants you know, when we extend contracts and, you know, when all these things, um, you know, should come to the city council and when they should, not the eve before, you know, they're going to expire. 
So, I mean, those are my comments, and I appreciate your recommendation. Thank you. 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 Thank you.